This one is a 1950 Smith Corona Sterling. Very clean. Doesn't seem to be many scuffs or anything on it. That's pretty rare. I'll show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. It's got this paper tray that flips up. These are the margins. You can just set them with your thumb. So we'll set them at the beginning and the end of the page. Just like that. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit the line spacer, get you back to the beginning and skips one or two spaces or three. And you just use this switch, you flip that back to get two and three. We're gonna keep it on one for now. I was able to type all the keys on one line because this has elite typeface, which prints 12 characters per inch. Basically a smaller font than the average, which is 10 characters per inch. So you could fit more words on a page with this. I'll type a sentence on the next line. Very nice type of machine, very reliable, and look how clean it is. You can, um, they don't make them like this anymore, this is made in America. So if you want a typewriter that won't jam up on you, that won't break, that will last forever, you have to go with these vintage typewriters like this one. Um, show you how to use the rest of the functions so this is the paper release lever it allows you to pull the paper out easy um, or load thicker paper it's got a backspace on the top left here it's got a tab function too let's flip that down um, these are the tabs they're little inserts that you can just put in these are actually super clean too you don't really see them this clean at this age. 70 year old typewriter. Um, so you just set these wherever you want. You can put them anywhere on this little bar here. It's got inserts all the way across it. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six tabs that you can use. And all you have to do is just hit the tab button. It'll stop at each one of those. You can see. I'll show you from the front. Just hit this button, this tab button right here. I'm gonna stop at each one of those. Works really good. It's got the color selector switch. Right now we only have a black ribbon on, but if you had a dual ribbon, you just switch this down and it'll hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. That works good. Let's open the hood. We got the spools and a touch control right here. This goes from low to high. Right now we have it on low, that just means the low resistance when you hit the keys. The high resistance means that you just gotta hit them a little harder and they spring back faster. Um, this is the ribbon direction control. So right now it's pulling to this side when it turns clockwise. If you want it to pull to that side, you just flip that switch up and now it's pulling counterclockwise to this side. And that works good. That's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.